Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching this, this is Final Fantasy 3. We are in the middle of the Dwarven Hollow. I left you off that I was going to go uh, work and make some money so I can get some ice helms and ice armors. The ice armor is actually a little weaker than the flame mail, but for the moment, do it. I also got uh, the Red Mage 2 turfings, which is a little bit better than the serpent swords he was rocking. So we're going to continue forward. So just a heads up, if you guys didn't catch it, I have never been this far into this game, so yeah, this is going to get interesting. I think we talked to this guy. That rascal Gutsko, what a name. Made off with the Horn of Ice, he made his getaway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim. That's good information to know, makes sense. But you're humans, humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. Clue. Visible wall blocks your path. Alright, so. Go to the opposite side from where you entered. Go down the stairs. Okay. In we go. <coughs> oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? Yep. I know. I, I, I'm just trying to get closer. Apparently it doesn't let us get closer. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Alright. So we're going to turn ourselves into toads right here. So magic. I think it's black mage? Nope. Alright, we are all frogs now. Let's move forward. I'm sorry, toads. All right, we are now in the subterranean lake. So I, instead of using um, instead of using magic to unleash us all. Oh, I can't do it. I can't hit everyone. Ah. I decided to buy a couple mating kisses. Uh, made sense to me. Alright, so we're gonna continue through this area. Um, apparently the first floor is a straight path. We'll get some bad guy fights. There is one chest. Ah! Bombs! Not new to the series, but still nightmares. They kind of look like this still. They just kind of look fresher now. Oh, they they hit hard. I have a crazy idea. So these guys are obviously weak to ice. I mean, they look like fireballs. And in some games, they're cold fireballs. And that might be incorrect, actually. Alright, so they kind of hit tanky. They're a little bit, they hit pretty hard. So, let me check something. I have an idea. I don't know if I can do this. I was going to give her a second ice staff, but I don't have a second ice staff. Alright, well, moving forward. Should be a gold needle, yes. Alright. This should be a short one here, and we're going downstairs. Cool. Should be a Zeus's Wrath. Should be a Zeus's Wrath. Okay. Uh oh, what are we fighting now? Oh, those are ugly. Staglomite, these are probably the most dangerous bad guys in this area because they can petrify. But we've already learned how dangerous petrify is. If it works, it doesn't always work. It worked. So 
Refio's not gonna get any points for that. Awesome. Because she's technically dead. Let me get a gold needle out. Alright. Oh, what are you guys? Besides ugly. It's a manticore. Actually weak to thunder, but I don't want to use magic because we have a boss. Oh come on, buddy, die! Thank you for that. All right, moving forward. I didn't realize someone got stoned again. It didn't say they could stone. Hey, I, I, they look like they could stone. But my guy does not say they can stay. That's terrible. That's the second fight in a row that somebody does, has not gotten any credit. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw some potions at some people. You're good. Alright. Continuing forward. This should be... Gold Needle... I missed a gold needle. Don't really care. Ugh. We got a merman. Kill the stone maker before he kills stones one of us, please. Thank you. No. Okay. Do you guys got a problem with Refia? What the heck? We got a level gainer. Yay, that's good stuff. Ah, should be $3,000. Should be $3,000. All right, hold on. Freeze. We got a boss fight, so I want to make sure that I am ready to go. I'll have to buy more of these soon. Okay, so my red mage will be curing a lot. Because this guy is not dangerous, but he can hit you twice. Good score the road. Go away. Skat. Skittle. Skabobble. Skabobble. The horn is mine, I tell you. And he is ugly. Like, he's really ugly. Well, that's not what he looked like. He, he got big all of a sudden and can now fly. What the heck? Anyway. Um, Gusko makes me think of Krusko, which is really funny to me. I don't know why, but it is. Alright, so we're gonna hit him with some Thundara. Hit him with two Thundaras. If that doesn't work, I hit him with a fire. Let's see. He has 3,500 life. That's not a great start. That was nice. Ooh, that was really good. 
We can probably kill him in about two rounds. As long as he doesn't hit the same person twice, we should be fine. So you're gonna throw a potion here. Just curious what fire does. <laughs> oh, that changes things, you douche! Oh! It didn't tell me, it didn't warn me about that. Yeah, I'm gonna do like no damage. Crap. Um, do I have anything for this? No, you're gonna have to attack this time. You're gonna use Thunder. And you're gonna use Cure. Oh no, don't do it. No! It shouldn't affect my magic, though. Magic is still magic, I think. I hope. Yeah, we've proven that in it. So being, him minning, miniaturizing my black mage did no good for him. I am gonna grow her, though, because... That sounds weird. Because she can take... If she gets hit now, she'll die. I don't want her to die. She's been my, she's kind of my tank right now. And... He's got to be almost dead. My red mage is alive, that's good. Come on, die. And he died. Alright, that was cool. Yay, another boss down. Lots of money, lots of experience. Yes. Alright. Obtained Horn of Ice. He vanished. Anyway, let's bring the horn back to the doors. Oh, the game was full life. That's actually kind of nice in the game. A lot of these games are not that nice. Um, what the heck is that? We'll get back to that in a second. What was that? Okay, so we got a Sea Devil and a Ruinous Wave. We're gonna take out the Ruinous Wave because I hate those things. We haven't fought one yet, but we fought something similar. I think that that's fine. Not bad. I'm gonna say something once I get back to the cave or back to the actual like where the dwarves are because it just kind of popped into my head and I realized something. Yeah, we got a shadow for one. All right, that was one of those uh, mermen and the staglomite. You see no one got turned into stone, which is always a plus. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the shadow following us. That's obvious. Uh, by the way, that was, that's the first edit so far of this video, so yeah. 
Alright, let's see if I can find that chest I missed. Got it, gold needle. That was it. And it's gonna cost me a fight, I'm sure. Alright, that was two staglamites. We've been I've been getting pretty lucky uh not getting stoned. Um petrified. For those that don't understand why that's a bad thing. <laughs> Ah, so close. As you can see, somebody got petrified. It was two more mantidors. Um, So, yeah. I actually was trying to use a gold needle before the end of the fight, but it didn't work. Um, so, let me go ahead and use a gold needle. Oh, I'm going to get a cutscene. Just turn me into a frog and let me go. Oh, cool. I didn't have to do the frog thing. I'm still really confused by the shadow ball in there. Okay, so we're going to talk to this person. Lolly ho, lolly ho, thank you for returning the horn. Put it back on the shrine beside the other. It'll, it'll take down the ward. Here we go, lolly ho. Lolly ho, sorry. You're to approach the shrine now and put the horn back where it belongs. I wasn't sure which one to click on. Looks like there should be three. Ha ha ha, I was disguised as your shadow. Thanks for leading me up onto the shrine. Ah, oh, well, the shadow makes sense now. Now both horns are mine. Ah, uh, you stole the horns of Isis. What? How do you, how'd you do that? And why do you keep stealing the horns in the first place? You silly twits, these are the horns of ice, wards against the fire crystal flames. They are the key to the tunnel leading to the crystal. Now that I have them both, the power of the crystal and the fire is mine. Mine. <laughs> Give me a second, me right back. Do you want to get this since I'm... Alright, sorry about that. Uh, our Uber, they rung the doorbell. And that sets off our dog who wants to eat them. Although he's like... Itty bitty. Although he is all muscles. Okay. All right. So now we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a problem. So, um, yeah, that was that was terrible. Oh, excuse me. So we're gonna go. Oh, I don't think I have to heal. Nah, it's not worth it. Uh, anyway. I do want to go there see if they're selling high potions because I want to buy a couple of those because this is a high potion area <laughs> they are expensive I have plenty now all right I thought so okay so we're gonna go ahead and exit the uh, Dwarven Hollow we're gonna go, hello! We're gonna go outside. <sighs> get back in our ship. Get back in the ship. We're gonna go around here. Out of the ship. And into the molten cave! Okay. So this is basically your fire cave. You gotta have a fire cave. Right? Final Fantasy. So we got an Antarctica wind. Antarctica. Ooh, what are you guys? They are crocatas. That sounds like food. I don't know how deep we're gonna get in here because... Ah, uh, we'll see. We 
Are you wanting to bring them up? You get them, babe. She's double fisting donuts. I'm proud of her. I'll be doing the same as soon as I'm done with this video. Alright, those guys aren't too bad. They're they're a little they got a lot of life, it seems like, but not too bad overall. I got a sheet pillow. I'm assuming that either puts me to puts people to sleep or it wakes us up. I don't know which. Alright, so uh fun fun fun. Oh, and a fight in the magma, because why not? We got a balloon and a red marshmallow. Those do not sound like bad guys. They sound like food. Well, not balloon. Or bad guys in Mario. I mean, yeah. And Final Fantasy is on Nintendo. was on Nintendo. Okay, the red marshmallow does not hit softly. I know, I should be using magic, but I really do like saving magic for bosses. Since I have a lot of potions, it's all good. Well, we'll probably level up a couple times here, you know how it goes. I would like to get to the bosses room, but I'm not making that promise. Okay. Alright. I think we need some healing. I am absolutely correct. Number one back to full life, although I don't really know why I'm doing this because we're just diving right back in the lava. Okay. So. The one thing I've noticed that's different about this fire and most of the game's fire is if you're standing still, you still take damage. <coughs> Adamantois. It's probably gonna take not a lot of damage. These things are generally pretty tanky. Can we kill it in one swings? The answer is no. Ow! He hit the one person that doesn't have ice protection. That's just disrespectful. Everyone's got protection against ice except the Black Mage, and that's who she hit with fire. Alright. Continue. Lava did most of the damage here, so just to let you know. Um, I think I have two Phoenix Downs. No. Yeah, so, gosh. It's starting to become problematic. Alright, moving. Alright, good. Second floor. that followed up to the magma all right that was two crocatas uh, man this place is mazy and I'm trying not to I'm, I'm trying not to be over leveled so that there's some kind of challenge in this game I don't want to be so over leveled that it's an easy game all right so there should be a chest down here that's important all right that should change things for all the fire bad guys so where's my warrior Alright. Back in the lava we go. So that was two more crocatas. I really wish that they would um, not have battles while you're in the lava. 
I feel like that's a little overkill for this game, but whatever. Especially since they put mazes in this. There should be a high potion. Alright. Ah, you... Oh, we got a phoenix down. Yay, we might need those from what I'm reading about this next boss. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that yet. Oh well. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. And another phoenix down. We're gonna go touch the green rock. And at this point, I'm gonna go to stop because this boss supposedly, like. In most RPGs, the bosses get harder. In most games, actually, the bosses get harder as you progress, which makes sense. Apparently, this boss has a move that if he does it twice in a row, it's automatic game over. Um, that's more than difficult. That's kind of crap. Um, so until next time, adios amigos.